On step two, the configure tab, we will create packages and choose other options for the order. To begin, from the select package set pull down menu, choose the create a new package set option. Package sets from previous orders will be listed in the pull down menu and can be reused when creating a new order. For this example, click the blue icon with the plus sign and input a name for the package set. From the pull down menu, we have the option to select an existing package set and import it into our new package set. Once imported, we can use a package set as is or modify the set as needed. For our demonstration today, we will create a new package set. Click the Create Package button here. By default, the first package is labeled with the letter A. We can use the letter designation for our package names or change the name to something else. To build a package, select a print size from the list of standard items and input the actual print quantity desired. To include an 8x10 in our package A, locate the 8x10 row and input the quantity of 1 here. Next, we'll add two 507s to our package by clicking here and input the quantity of 2. Our package A now consists of an 8x10 and two 507s. Above the 507 is a special item that combines a single 4x6 with four 1 inch by 1 and half inch mini billfolds. Next is a mini pack consisting of a single 4x5 and two full size wallets. Moving up the list, there are 4x5 and 3 amp of 5 print sizes. Please note, 4x5 and 3 amp of 5 prints are sold in multiples of two. If we input the quantity as 3, the program will automatically increment the quantity to the next multiple of 2. In this case, the quantity will be 4. Please be aware, billfolds are sold in multiples of 4, and mini billfolds are sold in multiples of 8. In addition, we also have the ability to include group photos in our packages. Input the selling price for the package in the retail price field here. To create our second package, package B, click the Add New button here. Package A is saved and a list of the package contents and the studio's cost for the package is displayed here. Package B will include one 507, two 4x5s, and four billfolds. In addition to standard print items, specialty items, memory mates, magnets, calendars, etc. can also be included in our packages. To add specialty items to a package, click the green button with the white plus sign here. Choose a school templates collection from the available collections pull down menu. Next, choose the type of specialty item we will include. Let's select the calendar category and choose a style of calendar to include in our package B. A wide variety of items can be included in our packages, such as fun packs, magnets, ornaments, key tags, and many other items. Please note to view all available school specialty items visit the school section of the Miller's website. Click the green plus sign to add another specialty item. There is no limit to the number of specialty items we can add to our packages. This time we'll include a holiday ornament in our package B. Here's the front of the ornament. Click the show back button to view the back of the ornament. Again, input the selling price of the package in the retail price field here. Click the Add New button to save Package B and begin Package C. Again, all products included in Package B are listed here, including the cost and our selling price. For Package C, we will include specialty items only. Again, click the green circle to add specialty items. Choose the Copyright CD category and the Copyright CD item. The Copyright CD option will create a CD containing the subject's image. Click the plus sign again and add a PVC key tag as our next item. Select the key tag style. Again, here's the front and back of the key tag. Again, input the selling price of the package in the retail price field here. Three packages have been created we can offer to our customers. We can create as many packages as needed to offer our clients a variety of ordering options. Click the next button. We have the option to upload our images to a Zenfolio storefront for online viewing and ordering by our clients. Click here to enable this option. Input the URL of our active Zenfolio site, the school's name, 
and a password our customers will use to access the images. For more information, go to the Miller's website and enter the keyword Zenfolio in the search box. Click the Next button. The name, year, on prints and studio logos options gives us the ability to add text to our photographs at the time of printing. With the name, year, on prints feature, we can add the student's name and or school year to our photographs. Place check marks in the boxes to select the options we wish to include. Choose a print sizes the text we applied to and select the color of the custom text. For the year option, we can input our custom text here. The next option is to add a studio logo to our photographs. With this feature, our studio's logo can be printed onto the photographs. To use this option, the studio logo must first be on file with Millers. Send Millers a JPEG, TIFF, or a PSD file of our studio's logo well ahead of the order's arrival. The logo file will be stored and made available to use in this program and other Miller's ordering software. Once our logo is on file, we will be notified by the lab. Place a check mark here to activate this option. Select the print sizes the logo is to be applied to, the logo color, and the position on our photographs. Click the Next button. We can add service items to our school order, that is ID cards, yearbook CDs, mug books, etc. Please note, go to the School section of the Miller's website to review the service items available. Click the green circle with the white plus sign to add a service item to the order. A special message will be displayed reminding us to order service items only when we need them. Click the OK button. From the Select Service Item pull-down menu, choose a service item we wish to order. For this demonstration, we'll add PVC ID cards to our order. From the Select Template pull-down menu, choose a style of ID cards. Click on each option to see a visual representation of each ID card style. Click the background button here. For a specific color, select the inner RGB value option and input the RGB color values for our desired color. Or choose the color swatch option and click a color from the color swatches. In the print options section, we can choose if Millers will print the cards for us. Or we can choose to print the cards on site. We can specify when to print the ID cards. If we select the Millers to print option, Indicate how the cards are to be sorted for delivery. The data for the school and year fields are from the school information we input earlier in the software. From the pull down menu, we can modify the information printed and the location on the card. Next, the card design can be applied to all cards, both students and faculty, or separate designs can be created. If an option other than all is selected, and put a name for our card design and click here to save. Click the Next button. The Next tab allows us to import a file containing student information, that is first name, last name, teacher, grade, etc. Please review the Miller's Remote Suite Plus Schools Student Data Files movie for a demonstration of working with school data. Navigate to the location of the data file the school has provided and select it. The file formats we can import are an Excel, CSV file, or a text file. We'll select a CSV file here and click Open. The contents of the file are listed as columns with headings of first name, last name, etc. At this point, we must match the information in the columns to the fields available in the program. Along the left side is a list of column headings in the data file and the option to map the data to the fields in the program. First is the first name column, and it will be mapped to the first name field in the program's database. As we look down the list, the last name, student ID, teacher, and grade columns are matched to the corresponding fields in the program's database. However, the school's file contains a column named Other. The program is not able to match the information in the other column to a standard field in the database. Click the pull down menu, scroll through the list, and assign the custom one field to the other data. Now the information in the other column will be imported in the custom one field of the database. When we are ready to import the file, click the import button here, then OK to confirm the import. 
There are two options we can use to output the data just imported. Print to labels or to camera cards. We will demonstrate the use of labels. Click the labels button here. On the example label, there are fields we can use to output each student's data. From the list, we can see by default the barcode is a student's ID, field 1 is a student's last name, and field 2 is a student's first name. In addition, the labels are stored first by field 1, then by field 2 by default. From the pull down menus, we can select other data and other sorting options. Click on the field 3 pull down menu and select teacher. Then field 4, select grade. We can change the sort order of the labels to teacher first, then by grade, then by last name. We will remove the first name from being a sort parameter. Click the Go button to view how the labels will be sorted. As we examine the labels, we will see they are sorted according to our specifications. To change the location of data on the labels, or change a sort parameter, change the field options as before, and click the Go button again. Uncheck this box here to remove the border around each individual label. To print the labels, click the Print icon here, and the data will be printed to our label stock. One special note, use the Avery 5160 label or a label stock compatible with the Avery 5160 label. When finished, click the X here to close the label printing screen. The option to print the student data to camera cards is very similar to the steps described when using labels. The next step is to begin building the order on step 3, the Build tab. Click the Build button. 